Here is the poll of polls. The average of the last six measurements of what's going on in your state shows you 16 points to the south of Donald Trump. You came in here last night, your team said, with a plan to change that. What is that plan, and do you think you executed it? Well, we felt good about the debate, and credit to CNN for having a policy debate. Um, and, uh, and I thought that was important. Uh, as far as the polls are concerned, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not very concerned about them. I don't think they're accurate. We're going to find out on Tuesday. But I feel good about our work here. You know, what's happening, one of the things that's happening in Florida is, you know, Ted Cruz has some supporters here, but he's not going to win, and so does John Kasich, and he's not going to win Florida. And so there's a majority of Florida Republicans that do not want Donald Trump to win Florida or be the nominee. And so what's happening increasingly is that supporters of Ted Cruz and John Kasich are realizing that no matter how much they may like their candidate, they can't win Florida, and a vote for them is, in essence, a vote for Trump. And so a lot of those folks are starting to move our way as well. Any concern uh, that the pendulum swung the other way too much last night, that you could have gone at Trump more directly on some of these big points of contrast that you made? Well, we made policy contrast last night, but I think we have to ask ourselves here, because this is interesting. You know, if we have a debate like we did two weeks ago where it gets, you know, pretty heated, people say, well, we don't like it, it's too personal, they're not talking about policy. Mm -hmm. So then we have a debate about policy, and people are asking, well, why didn't you guys get personal? Here's the bottom line, guys. It's not mm -hmm. entertainment. Okay, and again, credit to CNN for asking policy questions. This is not a reality show. It's not about entertaining people. It's about informing people. We are electing the President of the United States, the Commander-in-Chief of the most powerful military in the world. And I think it's important to note, is this person who we're about to vote for know what they are talking about? When it comes to foreign policy in particular, I think last night you did see some sharp distinctions, and I thought I was able to make them without calling anyone a name or going in that direction.